Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Moments, and we're back with Road the Waves 3 as France. Um, <clears throat> currently, we are in a situation where we are at war with Germany and have them blockaded. In the meantime, I need to put a new captain on the cruiser Marseille, which means that I will probably... I'll see if I can get someone who's decent here. If I can't get someone who is decent here, I will grab someone from a uh, Montcalm, probably, who's decent. Or a Desdiv. That guy's average. The second Desdiv guy is average. Um, I will grab... Let's see, like, du petit trois. I don't know. Um, who would I want to grab? Probably one of these guys. Uh, so Montcalm. Yeah, Montcalm. Montcalm's captain will work. Taking on assigned... Captain on Montcalm. Um, I'm looking at the CBs in charge of, like... Or not... Yeah, CBs in charge of these guys. We get some average there. Average music lover, loose cannon, then an average, and then we don't know the rest of them. Alright. So I'm going to build a little bit of money back before I uh, resume construction on Democracy. Uh, currently, Germany is still blockaded, uh, and in terms of the battleship department, we now have an advantage. We have an advantage in the CA department as well. Um, the CL department, we also have a major advantage in. Um, I've actually, there is something I want to do real quickly. We do not have an advantage in the destroyer department. Though. There is something I want to do real quickly, and that is take some of the old um, small CL. So in this case, I think it's going to be... Oh, the you know, is are part of second seal division. I think in this case, for now, it's going to be the fourth CL division and put these guys on trade protection. Um, I might also do like the sixth. I'm. I'll leave the Kotlugans in uh, main mainline service. All right. Let's fight this battle. We get a raider intercept now. So this is CL Tej. This is oh one of the ones I literally just put on tr trade protection. Run away! You are not whatever that is. You're not fighting it adequately. Too you're too old of a ship. What did they what did they have deployed? Hell uh I might have been able to win that, but it would have been close. I did have the better fire control there. Oh, come on. There we go. Now we get oil firing. And now we get three center line turrets. Honestly, though, Strasbourg is so halted at this point, I might as well scrap her. Here, I'm going to resume construction on Democracy. I think I'm just going to scr scrap... Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to scrap Strasbourg. We'll resume her later on. As a uh, different design after the war, probably. Okay, so I'm going to put the 6th CL division on uh, trade protection as well. Okay, um, Kotlugan is fighting now. 
So it seems like these are the sorts of battles I'm gonna get. Okay, um, another CL. Kona class. Yes, okay, Coat Logan, charge in. You can win this. Coat Logan is a significantly better ship than that Arcona class. And uh, we do have central range finders on Coat Logan. Oh, that's our C sit limited too. 28 knots. Okay, fine. Yeah, the reason I decided to sc scrap Strasbourg here is that the three centerline turrets and um, oil firing are just too good to pass up. So uh, I will start trying to fit those on. It looks like right now it's, it's probably just going to be a chase. So I think Coat Lugan... That was a near miss, right? Yeah. Looks like uh, she destroyed a turret on Coat Logan. Okay, so now, now it's a broadside engagement. Do I get onto the right broadside or the wrong broadside? The right broadside. Okay, cool. Oh, bearings are overheating. Yeah, we're limited to 18 knots now. But I think that is still probably faster than that Arcona. Oh, whatever hit that was, it did something good. There we go. There's some hits. We found where we briefly found the range. So we're saying two submerged torpedo tubes on this ship. So probably one to each side. So I do want to be a little careful. Lunar's perforated uptakes on uh, Coat Logan. So we're slowed. Oh god, our engines just got disabled. But we got her anyway. CL Berlin is now sinking. Yeah, engines are giving trouble due to extended high speed steaming. So she had the mechanical failure before we did. Which was what was important. Coat Lagoon, light damage. Um, turret destroyed. Yeah, bearings overheating on high revol resolution or revolutions. Get more hits. Uh, there's the Splinter's perforate uptakes, and then we get the engine room hit belt penetration, which does slow Coat Logan down. But, um, Coat Logan already has enough advantage, and the Arcona's dead in the water. I forgot to check, um, Coat Logan's hits on Arcona. Oh well. Yes. Complete suffering with the best fire control you can. Two destroyers are commissioned in the Navy. Okay. Okay, uh, great research. To uh, hull construction, that's good. Testing tank. Well, we're now actually positive in terms of funds, even with democracy close to done. I think. Oh yeah, because some of the destroyers are commissioning. The new uh, Trident class. So I can get twenty nine knots out of this next class here, and I think I will. Um, so we got, oh, say, oh, we, no, we didn't get her done. She just, 
Like a commander just got promoted, right? Oh, hey! We're thwarting, um... Oh my god! Good job! Good job, everyone, for uh, thwarting German merchant attacks. That's really helping out the war effort. Okay, so we got a guy promoted, we got a guy promoted. These guys have shown themselves to be of certain abilities. So let's assign you a new commander. Um, I'm not going to assign you Lara guy. And the reason I'm not going to assign you Lara guy is... Larga is someone I can stick on a significantly better vessel. Um, so if I look at some of these other ones, I'll do... Mm, how about morale? Actually, hold on, hold on. Ooh, we got an above average guy on that... Uh, Desdiv. Who's a speed enthusiast. I think I'm going to put him on the new uh, cruiser I get. But um, Lara guy is going to go on the new battleship I'm about to get. And, um, yeah. So, of uh, yeah, I'll take the Charles, the guy from Charles Martel. Um, and then... Charles Martel is an older vessel. If I could get someone from either Richelieu or Redoubtable, that would be good. But eh, I'll just grab someone down here. Someone who I don't know their ability. Um, yeah, if we're looking at these destroy divisions, um, this guy looks very good for an armored cruiser. Um, this guy also looks good. Yeah, we have some above average guys. Okay, cool. Actually, I probably should have put that guy in charge, but oh well. Um, so, yeah. Jules Michelet is going to commission literally next turn. And uh, Suffren will follow immediately. So let's reopen the um, Strasbourg design. Call the Strasbourg V2. Go up to 31,000 tons. We're going to do oil plus turbine. And, um, I'm going to take the F and G, and I'm going to combine them. Actually, here's what, I'm going to take the J and K, I'm going to put them, uh, no, I will do the J and K as normal. Uh, actually, let me go back, let me try this again. Because I kind of moved those out of position. Strasbourg. Be Strasbourg version 2. So, propulsion oil turbine. Um, rid of F and G. So, where can I add another W turret? Where would be the best spot to do so? Um, How do I want to, like, rework this design is, I guess, kind of the question I'm asking myself. Um, you know what? I think what I do is that I put the F or the FG turrets back in as doubles, and then we do a W. We'll go a little bit heavier. Um, I think like 12 inch turrets. Okay, so so position this turret probably about there. Okay, so I'm going to remove that visual. I'm going to remove this visual.
I'm going to set a boat over there and then mirror that. So those are the extra boats placed back in crane one. Set rest angle. Try 190. Other crane one, set rest angle. Let's try 170. Um, so where's the fifth funnel? That's you, right? Yeah, remove that visual. Structure three is up there. Structure four is that one. Structure five is that one. Structure six is over that one. So I, I want to move structure four. And uh, with structure four... Kind of create something back here vaguely. Uh, let me... Oh, hold on. How about I do this? I like structure four. Okay, so then the rest of these would be... Masked with single boom, no cross trees. Put that back there, masked with pole, simple cross trees. Okay, there we go. I think this is the uh, Strasbourg V2 design. Uh, I might... No, I don't want triples, decrease guns, position turret. Yeah, this is a much better ship than what we were getting uh, previously. All right. We will uh, get Strasbourg done here, um, but it looks like uh, Strasbourg's getting moved to the 1905 program. Um, whereas Democracy is staying part of the 1904 program. I'm not sure if I'll build another um, battleship as part of the 1905 program or not. But Oh, well. Uh, oh, this cruiser lost its commander. Um, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to grab this guy. Problem is, I need to get him off of uh, Infernet. So, new division. Fault destroy division. Sign commander. Grab him. Dissolve the division. Sign new commander. Um, you get him. Sign new commander. You get this guy, who um, apparently there's a special character in the name, because the Unicode really does not like reading that for whatever reason. Oh, working on the uh, Trident class ships here. Anyway, uh, let's go another turn. Okay, a coastal raid, medium-sized coastal raid. I'll take it. I'm a little concerned, but I'll I'll take it. Two destroyers unable to take part. Okay, so I have CAs. In this case, it would be the. Uh, which division are you? So this is the second and third cruiser. So second cruiser is pretty good. The third cruiser is a little shit. Uh, support force has the first cruiser division, but only two of them. Whereas right now the first cruiser division should have like four cruisers. The bear sights an unidentified ship. Okay, you know what? What are you? Go 16 knots so we can actually catch up to whatever this is. So we have... These look like uh, coastal vessels. Probably not worth pursuing. Okay, we have a uh, merchant going this way. Run her down. So that's a small merchant. We have reports of uh, cruisers over here. 
Oh, that's a land installation. Only a four inch. It's only a four inch coastal battery. I think we managed to probably get the merchant. All right. I'm not really scared of a four inch coastal battery. Yeah, merchant's down. Would be nice to bombard the coastal battery and then rescue survivors. But I think I'm just gonna leave. Fall back to 14 knots. Yeah, now that I have oil-fired turbines in 1905, um, that probably means I'm really going to start being able to rebuild a lot of my ships. Oh, hey. Objective. Sink two ships. Any accomplished. Okay, so we've already won the battle. Question is, what is the cruiser... What is the support force fighting? Can we find them? I think the support force is over here. Actually, that suggests that the support force might be might have moved this way. We're getting reports over here, though. Oh, it might be up here. Oh, there they are. What shape are you guys in? Great shape right now. I would not be entirely surprised if Sully and Jules Ferry just, um, bullied the enemy cruiser division into, uh, into the port. Or into Helgeland. How my other cruisers doing? Do you saw a little damage? Um... The bow is fine, it looks like. Apparently we're rescuing survivors from something. Okay, so they sink a merchant over there. Yeah, they can't get into Helgoland, and it's like, there's so many ships there. Oh god. Okay, everyone is confused now. I'm gonna stick near, like, Sully and Jules Ferry, just to kind of help them out. Actually, what we could do is... Is I could rotate to the other side. Okay, so we can bombard that uh, six-inch postal battery from here. Because if their corvettes are on this side... Okay, we force that merchant into port. Yeah, we're kind of just forcing everything into port at this point. And damaging the coastal batteries at Helgeland. And also going up here to deal with their patrolling corvettes.
just check on the map. That is, yeah, that's a proper Corvette. So the whole, p you can see the whole point of that maneuver now was to just catch some of their Corvettes off guard. And uh, yeah, that worked. It's another German Corvette down. I assume the six inch cool spider, only, yeah, it only has light damage. The four inch is probably doing, is that another four inch? Or, is that a six inch or a four inch? No, that's another six inch. Yeah, okay. Uh, yes to all rescue survivors. Um, Go back down to cruise speed for now. Come on, guys. I'm going to order a disengagement. We've won, we've won the battle. You don't need to keep fighting this. I don't... The problem is I'm worried that these waters are going to be mined. So as much as these guys are already winning... It's like, I don't want them to hit a mine. Oh, hold on, the time briefly stops when I do this. That is interesting. Something's still shooting at something, I don't know what and where. Okay, that was that was good. Um, light damage to us. Their CAs probably went into port, but um, you know, three merchants, uh, cor and four corvettes sunk, as well as one more damaged. Um, so one of their corvettes is sinking in port, so they will get uh, hundred back, but the rest of these guys we did get. So merchant one. You can see us getting superstructure hits, yeah, engine room hit, belt, engine's disabled. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's uh, Sully and Jules Ferry ran into that ship. Merchant Zero was conned, so that was the one we went after. Merchant Two was uh, Sully. So, De Asas took some 6-inch hits from a uh, coastal battery and some damage. Unriet took a couple 5-inch hits and was sinking in port. This Corvette, we sank with a lot of shell, no, with a lot of shell hits. Some six-inch hits on Descartes. K.E. Ferdinand, we chased down and sank. Battery six, medium damage. So we shelled the battery a good amount, but it's right. Oh, it has torpedo mounts. Interesting. The coastal batteries can launch torpedoes at us. I, I suppose that is historical, Um, given second Blucher. Uh, the second cruiser Blucher, not not the earlier Blucher, not the World War One Blucher, the World War Two Blucher. I like the World War One Blucher more, but even though the World War One Blucher kind of you know sank, that merchant went into port. Uh, this Corvette took uh, multiple hits from our ships, and but was close enough to port to just go in. Our destroyer took a six-inch hit and survived despite heavy damage. And uh, we bombarded this 4-inch coastal battery a bit. So that, did anything else take hits? You took a hit. Yeah, Khan took a 4-inch hit from the coastal battery. We have some survivors picked up by... Uh, so that's a German destroyer. That's one of our destroyers. This is one of our destroyers as well. Picking up some of the survivors. And then that was also one of our destroyers. So we did, we did actually go and rescue some survivors. And we rescued more than they did. They got 8, we got 42, and we got our objective done. Hey. Jules Michelet is commissioned. Two destroyers are commissioned into the Navy.
Ugh. Hard on the problems of improved kneeling. Oh god, Russia's starting to get mad at us. Assume relations-wise, Germany doesn't have any alliances, yeah. Russia would be annoying. Why did that increase, by the way? Why did that increase? Attention to the pressure, just random. Okay. Javelin's still gonna take one more turn to design, it looks like. All these guys are now old, um, so they're all gonna require refits now. Um, that'll be fun. But, you know, that'll probably be after the war. So, uh, Jules Michelet needs a commander, and, um, yeah, new thing we have commissioning soon, we'll need a commander. Now, I am looking at stuff, the 11th Destroyer Division is probably the one I would want to take a commander from, so... Sign new commander, we need the guy from the 11th Destroyer Division, this guy. Um, division Editor, we have three divisions now without a uh, commander. I will grab... I'm going to hold off on this guy, I think I'm going to... I oh I might put him on a cruiser. No, I think I'll put him on a battleship on the new battleship coming out. I'll see if there's someone else I want on that battleship instead. Uh so I could grab a uh unassigned unknown CV. Just I think what I'll do. I think I want to figure out what those uh CVs can do. Um so on you I would like a uh, unassigned CA. So you get that guy, who's a rate of fire enthusiast. So hopefully that kind of helps. And then here we can actually get some um, CAs. So this guy is above average, but he's poor admin, which is not great. This guy's average and a music lover. This guy is above average. Oh, no, no, that's the CV who I want to put on a ship. I think I'll take the above average but poor admin guy on the third light cruiser division. All right, and uh, division editor, uh, first cruiser division should now receive uh, Jules Michel or Jules Michelet. And uh, hopefully that'll. This will be a really good division, just given the ships it has. Um, and actually, I think the first division ships are probably going to be some of the first ones I convert to uh, oil firing turbines. Like, I would not. I think that's going to be a project I start on very, very, very soon. But yeah, um, I think we are in a pretty good situation. Everything has commanders. Uh, that is correct. Cool. So. Yeah, um, I think the only thing is I'm going to quickly create the 12th Destroyer Division and assign someone to it. Um, although technically I could compress some of the other Destroyer Divisions, I don't think I will right now. All of them have, like, five or six ships in them. Um, I think that would be after the war. Another guy, a torpedo, a a above average Wiley Torpedo Expert would be good. Uh... But I don't think I want him. I think. Hmm. 
I mean, that guy's brilliant and a torpedo expert, but I probably want to leave him there. I might grab um the guy in the third dis destroyer division right now. And then grab an unassigned CF for uh, the third destroyer division. Who are just going to see what they find. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's this turn. Next turn we'll start laying down uh, more Javelin-class destroyers. The Tridents will finish commissioning. And, uh, you know, we're three months away now from relaying down Strasbourg. Because uh, that ship is just being delayed infinitely. Democracy will still be built in her uh, current configuration. But I think it is worth it to uh, try to... Um, just try to redesign Strasbourg again to uh, get an even better first battle cruiser. So yeah, uh, thank you everyone for watching. This has been me, No Name Woman Seven Sport with Rule the Ways Three. Thank you again very much, Matrix Slytherin and Naval Warfare Simulations for giving me the free key for this. Um, I, as of the filming of this video, I'm currently in talk, or I'm, I'm currently in talks to try to figure out how something in specific works. Uh, because I do want to do a key giveaway, but I'm trying to figure... There's, there's still something I'm trying to figure out with it. I am recording this on the 19th, so the day after World of Ways 3 is released. I've not bought it yet, but I do I want to do it. I will I might have already done it by the time this episode goes live, so this is kind of a sneak peek into what I was thinking at the time. Um, I have sent an email out for more clarification on whether something is possible or not. Um... But once, once I know whether something is possible or not, that's probably when I'm going to start moving forward. And then I also want to kind of be in talks in terms of how best to actually manage the, uh, you know, the key giveaway. But it should have happened by the time this video goes live, if everything goes well. If everything goes poorly, it still won't have. But, like, I'm, I'm going to do it. Don't worry, I'm, I'm going to do it within, like, these first couple weeks of the game being out. I, I will see to that. I'm just, I'm getting the specifics down to try to get this the best I can. Uh, down below there will be a link to a, um, I'm going to say the officially recognized unofficial community Rule the Waves Discord server. It, it is a mouthful now, but um, that that's kind of what has happened in the past time period, or in the past time period. Um, probably the closest thing to an official Rule the Waves Discord server for two and one, but um, not for three. And outside of that, I will have links to my own Discord, Twitch, and Twitter if you are interested in any of those things. Alright, with that all out of the way, I will see you next time. Bye!